players, quarterback Will Tate, running back JJ Taylor. <coughs> Welcome to questions for you guys. What do you, for either of you two, what do you remember most about last year's game and then now here you guys beat him at home? Well, uh, I was here last year when they were in Washington, so I was watching the game on the TV. So, yeah, last year was it was a rough game. Um, they put up a lot of points on us, and we didn't score a lot of points. So, this year we knew we had to come out there and just redeem ourselves. You two played against each other in high school. You had that one crazy game in the playoffs. I mean, I, when you found, both found out you're both gonna be playing together, how, how kind of excited were you to join forces? I guess. I was super excited. You know, I knew JJ was a great player. I knew he could make you know anybody miss an open field, and I know he would help us and meet him together as something special. They were doing a pretty good job against you guys there for a while before the dam kind of finally broke. What do you think changed, or was it just maybe a matter of time before you felt like you're going to break one? You mean what do you mean by they were doing a little? Yeah, they, you know, early in the game, they were really stuffing the run before you know before you kind of had to get a two yard run and then. I mean, yeah, they stopped the run, and we opened up for the pass. So, I mean, it's a lose-lose situation. Can you, talk about, can you talk about the pass? Everyone talks about your running ability, but no one really talks about your passing. Tonight was one of those nights where you really came out with that. Um, yeah, I mean, we have some great receivers you know, that get open. You know, great offensive line does a great job in blocking and giving me time to make those, those throws and deliver them. How much have you worked on the passing game? Um, since I've been a quarterback. <laughs> so for for a pretty long time. Last year. Um, just practicing, you know, getting reps in with the with my guys, you know, after practice and during practice, really taking everything serious. KJ, is it? Did you feel it was kind of a matter of time? Coach has been saying like eventually you would break out. Is that the same feeling that you had? Uh, not not technically in a sense. I've been just working on my craft and. You know, being the best player I can be to fit this offense and working on my blocking and technique for everything. So I wasn't really focused on that. For either one of you, um, what does it feel like to be bowl eligible uh, in late October and then to be headed to USC next week with a chance to uh, be, you know, be the first place team in the Pac-12 South if you win? I mean, being bowl eligible is something that's supposed to happen. So it's not anything that's out of the norm. And uh, going into next week, you know, playing a great team as in USC, and you know, we just gotta watch film and get to it. A couple more questions for these guys. Kalu, Kalu you've got uh, three straight Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week awards. Is possibly getting a fourth? Is that something on your mind going into this? Week? Uh, not really. You know, just uh, celebrate this win tonight, and then you know, tomorrow and Monday, get back, get uh, get out uh, to USC. What does this say about the team overall, where you guys are at? You know, 62 or whatever, doing really well. Maybe to the national media or whoever's watching you nationally. Uh, it shows that we've came together as a team uh, after what happened last year. You know, we really worked on what we were supposed to do and, you know, becoming a better team and actually getting to know one each other, just making the team chemistry a lot better. Khalil, is there a little something extra next week's game because you're an LA kid? Uh, not really. You know, it's uh, another game. And uh, look forward to it and watch film and get to it. All right, thanks everybody.